China manufacturing PMI data was below expectation in early Asia, while Aussie producer prices came in soft. There hasn't been much reaction, though we did see some Aussie weakness as a result. As we head into the final sessions of trade for the week, most of the actively traded currencies are up against the buck since the weekly open, with a lot of this flow coming from the more dovish leaning Fed decision. Kiwi and Aussie have been the strongest on the back of this continued push in U.S. equities and some accompanying strength in metals prices. The Swiss franc is down marginally against the buck on the week, and the pound is the only currency in the more liquid group that has seen legitimate setbacks this week, though even here, the setbacks follow some outperformance and have been contained to well within 1%. Clearly, the uncertainty around Brexit continues to be a thorn at the pound side, though at this stage, we believe the balance of risk actually favors the upside when considering the medium and longer term cycle and reality that a no-deal Brexit in March would be an outcome that offers no real advantage to any party involved, including the global economy. Investors will be waiting for more color on this front in the days ahead, while also looking for some more insight from the U.S.-China trade talk front. As far as today's calendar goes, the big event will be the monthly jobs report out of the U.S., but we also get manufacturing PMIs out of Germany, the Eurozone, and U.K., along with Eurozone CPI, Canada manufacturing, U.S. ISM manufacturing, and Michigan sentiment. That's all for now.